The other day, I saw one of these things fly out next to me in a battle, and I noticed something very interesting. I'm used to two R60s. That's the gold standard. That's what it's always had. But I noticed something different about one. Oh my goodness, look at that. This is both wonderful and kind of terrible at the same time. R60s. Four of them. Versus sabers and stuff. Come on. And just to, just to make things more interesting here, if we scroll down to the tech tree version of this, it's 9.7. Very interesting. Makes you think. More expensive too, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yep. This aircraft both needed this and also didn't need this. Their timing, their choice of time to add this is good enough. If it was right off the bat like this, that would have been just the most annoying thing in the world. It'll certainly make it more enjoyable to use. So let's get into it. Oh, come on then. Don't give me this lighting game one. Oh, man. Oh, let's take off the Act 38 style here. Since we can, might as well. See how well I can do this. I haven't flown this thing in a long time. Look at all the afterburning jets. And then the one MiG-17. That is... The MiG-17 being almost the same battle rating as this thing. It's just goofy. There's not much uh, explaining that to me. Oh, okay. Didn't do that perfectly smoothly. Let's uh, ease off on that a little here. If you do it very nicely, do it just right, you can get it to be nice and smooth. Very professional looking. That was not the case. You don't want to just go straight up and then just drop it. Oh well. Ah oh, man, this is just not good lighting. <laughs> Not great. Oh well. Well, let's get up to a uh, get up to altitude here. It's kind of how I play this thing. I just sit up high, and, like a vulture, and just circle around and then dive in because there's not much else you really can do. You can't outturn anything. Like a starfighter, that's really all you can outturn. Genuinely, you're not going to win turn fights even with the VTOL capabilities. Because unlike the Harrier, this thing can only do the VTOL under a certain speed, I believe it's like 300 miles an hour, something like that. Uh, above that, you cannot put it into the uh, VTOL type mode. So while the Harriers could be going 550 miles an hour, you know, 600 kilometers an hour, whatever the heck, right? And they can just swing out their uh, little uh, pivot uh, exhaust <laughs> system, nozzles swing those down and I could get the uh, little thrusty uh, pushing get all the shenanigans going this thing you cannot do that so is this thing a good maneuvering jet? no is it the fastest accelerating jet? no the Harriers accelerate faster is it particularly fast? it's I if this had even R13Ms. Would it be useful? Probably not. The only way in which this aircraft is at all useful are the R60s. That's it. The gun, some people probably like. Very high rate of fire. I'm not a big fan of, particularly, personally. Alright, we're up high here. Okay, we got some targets below us. I try to get under three kilometers. These are relatively short range. There's a Super Saber. That's a pretty solid target. Relatively hot. Not horrendously maneuverable. Don't lock onto the SU-7, please. And there's basically nothing you can do now, which is your advantage there. Boom. That is the thing that really gets people about this aircraft when they at least back in the day when they would go up against it, when it was a new addition. It's those missiles. 
unless you have flares, you're really not going to be able to do much against them. They're just so sensitive. They pull so many Gs. They will even go after, you know, non-afterburning jets that are normally a little cooler in operating temperature. Oh, that guy's down. Let's go for the Harrier. He's putting out flares. Got a bunch of friendlies. These things love friendlies. There's nothing more these missiles love than friendlies. Okay, he's down. What else? Is that it? Not quite. Oh, no. An A-10. That is not an ideal target for this. At least it's not fast, so I can run away from it. It's one of the few things you can easily run away from in this kind of aircraft. If he's distracting, he doesn't put out flares, actually. Not terrible. Um, let's try that. Look at that. Ah, I should have, uh, committed with guns. I gotta get the heck away from him, though. If he throws out a sidewinder at me, it's over. Which is the, uh, advantage to fighting these things. It's unlike the Harriers. It's not gonna dump out a ton of flares. It's not gonna do some weird maneuvers you don't expect. If you get a missile out of one of these, even an A9B or an R3S, you're in pretty good shape to get a kill, all things considered. Oh, 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 no, 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 I ain't going for guns. No, 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 come on. Use a little. Okay, use the freaking small frontal profile of this thing to my advantage. Now let's get the blazes out of there. Oh, that was it? Ah, oh, dang. Maybe I can get one of the AIs here. Ah. Oh. Lock the friendly, go, out, out. Ah, oh, man. Let's try to get this more of a smooth, proper takeout here. Oh my god. God, another one of these maps with just terrible lighting. Oh, man. Maybe if I get up above the clouds, it'll look halfway good. Um, yeah, let's push out towards where the clouds kind of aren't anyways. Just because. Look at that big 19. Off he goes. Ah, another Yak-38. A bunch of them. Interesting. I swear, I sometimes don't see certain aircraft at all until suddenly the game I'm, like, using one or start thinking about it again. Then they're everywhere. I guess it's the power of, uh, perceiving the existence of something versus just not caring at all. Oh man, there's an F-11 right here. Okay. Oh god, I need speed. ASAP. Fire up that seeker. Oh, he's already going faster than me. Yeah. If your opponent's going faster than you, they're past three kilometers, it's not even worth trying to shoot one of these off, at least, uh, from what I remember. They may have changed it. I doubt it. Best to keep this under three kilometers, especially as well if you're, uh, gaining on the opponent. Oh, there he goes. People will sometimes avoid you, unless they're coming up from the side or rear, in which case you're like the best target they can get. But, it's sometimes just not worth dealing with the uh, R60s. Uh, poor Sabre, he's gonna get R60, isn't he? Oh, SU-25 didn't do it. Unfortunately, I will. You do feel bad when you're in this kind of aircraft. And that happens because, like, there's not, there's nothing he could have done, nothing. E even offensively, like throwing an aim nine B at me from a altitude disadvantage, maybe could have hit me. But you at least need aim nine E's to reliably kill these things. If you have aim nine E's, it's open season.
but a saber. It doesn't deserve to fight something like this. Oh, come on, there's another saber. At least like the super sabers. It's supersonic. It's got four M9Es. It feels more like something I should be going up against. I'm getting radar locked. Alright, well, let's... I guess deal with that. Oh no. I got something else to deal with here. He's my impressive maneuverability. Kind of predict where he's gonna go here. Oh, he's smart enough to not. Just uh, go right in front of me. Come on. Okay. Oh, this. I don't even know why I tried that. And now, this is being caught in a death trap scenario. It's like. Very much I can do here. No hope about maneuvering them. That is the price you pay for what you have. And you know, I think that's a worthy trade off. If you get this to, to just purely grind. Oh! <laughs> oh man. If you get this just to purely do like a, just grinding through the tech tree, you'll probably get frustrated at some point. Oh, come on. Every game overcast, dark and cloudy. What is up with this? Whoa, what are we doing there? Okay, chill, chill, chill. This thing doesn't have quite the precision, quite the precise touch the hair gears have, that's for sure. Oh, okay, come on. Stabilize yourself here. Pull yourself together. Come on, Little Yak 38. You got this. See, it's much more efficient to just take off normally like that guy did. It's not as cool, though. You're in a VTOL. I might as well VTOL. At least, to some extent. Alright, let's, uh... Push out to 20,000 or so feet here. Ah, uh, there we go. Sunlight. <laughs> uh, that's a sight for sore eyes right there. Wow, there's K200. Sometimes forget that uh, there are K200s and uh, ME163s, right? That uh, that have to fight things like this, or even uh, SU25s for that matter. So it's, uh, it's interesting, you know. Yeah. Well, technically, the main reason why I purchased this aircraft many years ago, two years ago, something like that was to grind through the uh, Soviet air tree. However, I also partially got it just because of how, well, unique it looks. And it's just a unique aircraft. Operates interestingly, has a very unique system for VTOL. Strange. Looks kind of cool. It's a naval aircraft. I liked all of that stuff about it. However, it was on sale like 25% off or 30% off when I got it, and that's really the only reason why I actually got it. Because, man, 60 bucks, or however much this thing would be full price, oof. At this point, the SU-25 is a much, 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 much better option. However, this was a pretty solid option back in the day. I don't know if it's really what I would recommend now if you were trying to go through the, uh, Soviet air tree. However, people will still uh, give you grief for using it because it is a plane with now four R60s at 9.3. But it's not the kind of spammy plane that it once was. I feel like that guy is almost dead. He's, uh... oh, what is he doing? I don't want to take someone's kill per se. Well, it looks like he's just kind of doing his thing. See, in this situation, if he's not damaged too terribly, he has a pretty solid advantage over me, being that he's not in the plane I'm in. Oh, there's a K-200. Someone's shooting at me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Oh, the Sabre did what I almost did. I thought I was gonna meet the same end. This guy's still up. These guns don't do a huge amount of damage. Let's just be, uh, that guy. And, uh, yeah. Unfortunate. But that's how this thing has to operate.
get out of here. Let's build up some airspeed because that saber is barreling towards us. And you do not get the acceleration that a harrier would have. So you do not get to just zoom out of there just in a heartbeat. Something like a saber can catch up to you unless you're already at like 550 and that's where you're just starting to get up to speed here at. Because you see this guy's catching up to me still, which is, you know, good on him. All I, all I can do is just keep going straight, just run away, because, I mean, I can't just turn around here. He can outmaneuver me easily, and if I try to do a little turn fight engagement, and then I decide to try to break off, well, I can't retain the speed and energy well enough to just do so easily. There we go, I'm starting to slowly break away. Just gotta hope that, uh, leaves me alone here. Come on, just lay off. There's a saber below you. Go fight him. Oh, oh, that's not where I meant to go. That ain't where I meant to go. That ain't where I meant to go. Uh, okay. Chalk that up to user error. Yeah, gotta be alert. <laughs> Pay attention to the map. Alright, let's take this off properly most efficient way very semi VTOL mode whoa whoa mouse is giving me a little bit of a problem there that's a little uh was a little concerning but got it in control and then you just slowly bring it back here once I get about 250 ish miles an hour you just lay it off Whoa, ho, ho. chill there, MiG-21. Man, okay. Push out to the side here. Someone has said the N-word in the chat. Things are going well. Not really. That kind of thing does make me wonder, though, with YouTube's change of monetization policy. Oh, God, that is an F-4 Phantom. That is radar missiles. I gotta be really careful here. YouTube's changed in a monetization policy as of the moment, early uh, January of 2023. Will people saying things like that in the chat get the whole video demonetized? Because that's out of my control. I mean, I guess I would have to turn on the censored chat, or no chat at all, as it's a lot of people do. That's kind of annoying. It's nice being able to communicate with the other team or your team. Hopefully that kind of thing wouldn't get you demonetized, because uh, not even on my team. I was out of my control. Let's not mess with that Harrier. Yep, there he goes. Doesn't even matter. Um, oh man, F5Cs. Okay, this is an up tier. Full up tier. Not a good pull position place to be. Not a good point in time for this thing. You're not going to handle full up tiers very well. There's an ID at so this guy can flare the missiles I throw at him, turn around, and just get me. And that's a tricky position this plane is in. It's at a battle rating where it can fight things that it has no business fighting. You know, just so outclasses what it goes up against there. Even this poor Arietti. I know those things are pretty good. Kind of annoying to deal with if you're in like a saber. But something like this. You know. same time you put it up against the uh, 10.3s and now it's struggling. Now it doesn't know what to do. Whoa, okay. I didn't realize I was going so dang fast. Alright, well let's just straight line it out of here. I ain't gonna pull anything more than about a third or half of a turn like that. Oh god, everything's overheating. I just gotta get out of here. Okay, I can cool it down. Don't overheat as badly as a Harrier does, but because you're not putting out as much horsepower and uh, thrust. So, that's the trade-off. I had always wondered, though, why this thing just couldn't have four R60s. Because you could have four pylons. I never understood why you couldn't have it like this. 
Uh, it's obviously for game balance reasons. But now there's less of a reason to uh, keep it like that because of all the things similar battle rating to it that are as good, if not better. Or even just have outright the same missiles entirely like the SC-25s there. So, it does kind of make sense. Oh, he's flaring. Let's see if I can get him with guns. Probably not. Oh. He almost got himself with flaps. Ah, uh, there he goes. All those flares, and he didn't put them out when I actually put a missile out on him. Gotta stay vigilant. Gotta be alert. Alright, um, Starfighter, that can maybe be an okay target, F5, Buccaneer, okay, let's, uh, that's something to work with there, let's head out that direction, still got two of them, I'd be heading back to base, the, uh, old version of this aircraft, Starfighter is coming in hot, let's, uh, level out here, okay, can my mouse respond, oh, yep, there it goes, now it's responding, yep, yeah, there it goes, yeah, jolly good, okay, Screw it. Oh! <laughs> this is kind of like the Soviet equivalent to that uh, 20 millimeter Vulcan in a way, so. I would much rather have that 20 millimeter Vulcan though, any day of the week than this thing. Some people probably like this, it doesn't work well for me. But it's probably just a personal preference because I like high velocity cannons, high velocity guns. Nice, simple, easy to use, easy to aim. That uh, suits me well. <laughs> Says a lot about me, I'm sure, but hey, whatever. Oh, uh oh, nope. Can't quite get the nose on target. Right here comes the buccaneer. Can't do anything to me, but here it comes. Why is it turning in? Let's get a gun pod now or something. Am I missing something? No, it's just being defensive. Oh, starfighter's turning. It's turning a little too much though. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I had like 25 shots. It's actually a good deal of ammo, technically. It just goes away instantly. Gun so fast. Alright, let's build up speed here. I'm now in the danger position. My engine's overheating. Oh, hey, Buccaneer. Engine's overheating. I don't have any ammo. Can I front? Front lock? Nope. Not worth trying. Maybe could. I don't have any guns to throw at him, so it's not worth trying. Ah, uh, do I want to get back to the airfield? I guess I do. Okay, good, we got two SU-25s. So pretty capable uh, remaining team. Oh, I gotta slow down real quick here. Uh, I forgot this thing doesn't even get an air brake. You don't get an air brake, isn't that interesting? I mean, it's meant to vertically take off and land, so I guess they just thought, yeah, you don't need that. Don't need none of that here. Well, they should have thought about people, like, 45 years in the future, 55 years or whatever in the future, playing War Thunder. They should have been like, well, what the War Thunder players do? Okay. That's where the VTOL comes in, but man, can this thing be sketchy if you're missing a flap like I am, and you're, uh, rusty with it. See, the VTOL just went away. I gotta lose speed here without killing myself. Come on, come on. I don't have flaps to slow myself down. Oh, this is messy. This is not a uh, landing to be proud of. Actually, unless I cut the video right here, I just cut it right here and be like, oh man, look at that guys, coming down for a VTOL landing, all is good. Unless I can't recover because I'm coming a little too fast here. Nah, no, it should be good. 
Uh, loser. Landing normally with air brakes and flaps and pff, using the length of the runway. No, sir, not for me. Well, that's what I would have normally done, but uh, I don't have uh, a flap. I really feel like potentially putting this in an uncontrollable like, spin barrel roll as I'm about to hit the damn ground, so. Come on, easy does it, easy does it. Of course he's landed, he'll be back up in there before I've even touched down, but this is still superior, for sure. Oh, I wish I had an air brake. Or a, a flap and ripped off, come on. Easy does it, easy does it. And boom, off the throttle. Engine off. Let's get back up. And our SU-25, second one, has crashed. It's one of the remaining three players on a team. A very capable aircraft. You love to see it. Which means we don't have three combat-capable aircraft against two combat-capable aircraft. We now have 2v2 and then the Buccaneer. Just kind of hanging out. Problem is, though, we got two supersonics and a kind of quick bomber versus two subsonics. Oops, I didn't mean to turn the seeker around. Ah, uh, there we go. Well, the good news about, uh, if this video would be eligible for getting demonetized because of the one specific word in the chat just kind of hanging out there chilling, is that I'm not eligible. And it won't be for a long time. And by the time I hopefully do get eligible for monetization, this video will be one of many, many, many. And I won't have to worry about that, but it'll be interesting to look and see when that day arrives how the video fares. So let's do 10, 10 degrees. Okay, that starfighter is, uh, he's zooming in. He's getting in here real quick. I don't like that. He gets that SU-25. Oh yeah, okay, okay. He got the SU-25, there's no hope of uh, this being a, a victory. Where do you need cover from? You're alone down there, correct? Yeah, I don't see the F-5. Is he already going back to the airfield? I don't know what's going on. I, I don't get it when people say, somebody cover me. There's no one around them, they're not engaging anyone. They don't see anyone. They don't know where someone else is. We really have no idea where the other player is. Oh no. Oh, there's the F-5, it's way the hell up there. I can't say anything else. Oh. Oh, it's no longer up high, so that's irrelevant. Okay. Uh, no. Come on, use those flares. I get, like, one shot at this. Come on, don't hit the ground. Don't be like that one guy. Uh, let's get the battle brick turned around here. Alright, well I have four of them, so let's take a chance there, right for the flares, not surprised. Get back up that airspeed. I'm at least with the SU-25 now. A little more comforting, because he can turn around, I can't. Ah, uh, the Buccaneer kills me, that'd be super funny. I don't know if that's the right kind to be able to have sidewinders. But it'd be, uh, it'd be an amusing moment, at least. That guy's just gonna run away, he's going up against two slow planes, so, might as well. Put some pursuit after him. I am faster. Not by a huge amount, but I can go about 150 miles an hour faster comfortably. Okay, he's going for a turnaround here. Not quite, though. He just kind of bled off some airspeed. I'm not sure what was up with that, per se. This is a moment I wish I had uh, two R13Ms to choose from. That'd be very nice. Fire went off at about three and a half kilometers, but I do not get that. We're heading back to this airfield, aren't we? Yep, we are. Gotta be very mindful of that. And 
He's going into the sun. Turn off a bit. In case he's probably going to dive after me here. Correct. Maybe I can get real lucky. R60, come on, what was that? Alright, let's head back to the SC25, because if that guy turns around to go for me, you can get head on by the SC25. I'll take that over getting in a turn fight with an F5C solo. Okay, I only got two of these left. Be mindful of that. He's turning. If he gets any kind of Aim 9G, I think it is, out of me. I am toast. Cannot get that rear aspect on me. Or any aspect, really, for that matter. So he does have guns. Better functional. Not my favorite guns in the world, but they're better than this. Oh, no. Hey, Buccaneer. Buccaneer's just hanging out. Oh, we almost got him. Wishing I didn't try to do some crazy uh, angle on those two shots there. What are you doing, Buccaneer? Uh, yeah, this game's a, a loss. Oh, please, that'd be so funny if you had a Sidewinder or something. Oh, he crashed! Yes! Close enough. Well, that should be victory in due time for this guy. He just has to kill a buccaneer who is very... I don't know. Likes to get close up. Like a curious bird or something. Good enough. I'll call that a... <laughs> call that a victory. goodness look at that oh let's test fly this thing take the r60ms i don't want drop tank i don't want to deal with that never been able to bring out a uh, fourth gen in the game yet look at that thing it's one of the greatest looking aircraft fighter aircraft of all time for sure just so perfect looking Everything about it is just so good. Look at that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, look at all that. That is wonderful. Do some maneuver thing. Oh, okay. Careful there. Oh, yeah. I gotta get this thing unlocked. This thing is a... Heck of a machine. Hell of a machine, dare I say. Video already probably wouldn't be able to monetize in the future anyway, so, you know. <laughs> Trying to be careful, but I, uh, I don't think this video at this point it would matter, anyways. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Already hit Mach 1. I was just maneuver at Mach. Pretty good. Pretty solid. 
hell of a lot better than the thing I was just in, that's for sure. No, oh, man. This is a good moment in time. Oh, I forgot about that helmet aim. Oh, did they restrict it? Okay, it looks like it has to be within the kind of little locking circle there. You can't look 90 degrees off to your right or directly above you, directly below you, and just fire one off. Maybe that's realistic. Maybe that's not. I don't know. I don't know quite the capabilities of the extent of the uh, helmet guided aiming system this thing has in real life. I know they do water things down a bit. A lot of things get watered down, like the radar, the Tomcat, you know, the. <laughs> Some things, they're at their full performance capabilities, would just be broken. This being one of them, have had the full uh, range of motion looking around on the uh, helmet guided uh, like aiming system. And had the R, what, 73s? Yeah. To give the <laughs> Tomcat the full full like radar it has and full performance uh, Phoenixes, and maybe they are, I don't know. I don't have the Tomcat. And they gave this thing everything it would have normally. Then uh, you basically have no reason to play anything other than this. Or the Tomcat. Or the F-16. But even then, this thing was still pretty brutal. I don't know. I don't know what the F-16 is like. I haven't been able to test flight or anything yet. So, we'll see. And let's just give it a nice little touchdown. Yeah, Yak 38. Uh, I don't know. If you think it looks cool, and you uh, know what you're going to expect and be getting into, it's, it's good enough. I don't know. I think really at this point, the only real reason to buy this is just because you think it looks cool. Or you like the Yak 38 in real life. Just think it's neat. Well, that's all. I mean, that's all I really have to say on that. Sight.